Hello everyone, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. So we've just completed the third chapter, so we're now moving on to uh, chapter four now. Back to school. <laughs> I feel like each chapter is getting longer and longer. I don't know if that's my imagination or not. And I think the game has seven chapters as well. Eight if you include the prologue. So we've still got a long way to go on this game. This is an impressive building, man. It's so big. That is literally what she said. Negotiations with the Republican government are complete. The possibility of an armed conflict in the Nord Highlands has been successfully averted. However, they did demand that we hand over the mercenaries responsible from the attack as part of their terms. <clears throat> I suppose that's acceptable. After all, there was a shortcoming on our side that allowed that incident to occur. We should consider this a chance to place Rocksmith in our debt, especially with the trade conference on the horizon. Yes, sir. Though, it's regrettable that we were unable to catch the Mastermind. So many hot women in this game. <laughs> There's not a doubt in my mind that he's one of the ringleaders. <laughs> Indeed. It seems we'll need to exercise greater caution from now on, if this is what they're capable of. Our next concern is the upcoming Summer Festival. Any thoughts as to the optimal placement of the Ironbloods? I believe their primary target will be next month's trade conference. I propose posting Lecter to the east and Milliam to the west. That leaves me here to take care of the capital. <laughs> it's always like you read my mind. He's got such a weird voice. Very well then. I'll leave the preparations to you. Yes, sir. I don't know why, but it kind of seems all forced. Don't be afraid of working me hard, sir. <laughs> oh, I will work you hard, young lady. <laughs> I can run these kinds of logistics in my sleep. Ha! I am all too aware of how indebted I am to your abilities. That's why I'm leaving the summer festival in your capable hands. Perhaps you may even consider using them as a test. I... Please excuse my intrusion, Your Excellency. His Excellency the Governor has arrived and wishes to speak with you. Ah, show him in. As you wish, sir. Coming in. Oh, forgive my intrusion. I didn't realize you had company. No, it's quite all right. I just finished giving my report. It's wonderful to see you again, Governor. Likewise. I think it's been, what, two months since we last spoke? I'm in your debt for helping out with the security arrangements at last month's commemoration event at City Hall. I'd been looking forward to thanking you in person. Glad to have been of service. <laughs> I'll be sure to pass on your thanks to everyone else involved. Anyway, if you'll excuse me. Good work as always, Captain. It never ceases to amaze me that a woman like that heads up the Iron Bloods. Your icy maiden has the provincial armies positively scared stiff. <laughs> Competent as she is, she's not the group's primary member. But she and the rest of the Iron Bloods continue to do some fine work. Especially against those cunning vipers amongst the ranks of the nobility 
and the four great houses in particular. Agreed. But we'll need to stay vigilant. <laughs> I'm pleased that you agree. Imperial Governor Carl Rechnitz. The feeling's mutual. Chancellor Gilead Osborne. The plot thickens. Of course, and that's exactly why I intend to go with him. Next month's conference may be the West Samoria Trade Conference in name, but it's far more than that. It's the region's first international conference in modern times, so the discussions won't be limited to economic matters. Regional security and other timely issues are sure to come up. I see. So that's why all the region's heads of state will be in attendance? Precisely. President Rocksmith will represent the Republic of Calvert, of course. Prince Albert will be representing the Principality of Remaferia as its head of state. Crown Princess Claudia will be coming to represent Liberal in place of the Queen. And representing Crossbell State, we have Mayor Croix and Speaker McDowell. All of them are either heads of state or their acting representatives. Meanwhile, Erebonia is sending Chancellor Osborne as a representative of the Imperial government. But Father is the head of state, isn't he? Indeed. And that's why I'm planning to go as well, even though I'm far from the ideal candidate. But the Imperial family needs to be represented to make sure all sides are on equal terms. You shouldn't be so harsh on yourself. But I think I understand the situation. I feel so ashamed. I shouldn't have to rely on you to educate me about simple politics like this. Hmm? Recently, I feel as though all my inadequacies have been staring me in the face. I wish every day I had the intelligence and quick-wittedness you possess. And I wonder, am I truly capable of inheriting the throne from father? <laughs> you know, Her Highness Princess Claudia of Liberal once said exactly the same thing. She did? As the successor to the throne of Liberal, I've heard that she agonized over whether she was fit to become queen. But eventually, she came to terms with her own inexperience and vowed that she would strive each day to overcome it. And I have no reason to believe that my talented brother cannot do the same. Olivert, thank you. Your support means a lot to me. That said, I do think you should spend more of your time living life the way you want to. I don't think anyone would blame you for wanting to indulge your interests once in a while. <laughs> I am how I am, I'm afraid. To be honest, I'm a little jealous of how being so open and carefree comes so naturally to you. <laughs> well, I think it'd be less concerning for all involved if you avoided taking after me too much. Yeah. <laughs> Another thing. I sometimes find myself admiring Chancellor Osborne's strong-willed nature as well. Oh? He was quite forceful in introducing the Imperial Transportation Act last year, despite the opposition's objections. But ever since then, I've heard the number of orbital car accidents has fallen dramatically. I can see why Father trusts him so much. Well, I wouldn't disagree that was a fine piece of policy making. The campaign he launched with the help of City Hall was exceptionally well executed. But on the other hand... Honestly, don't you think it's a little early in the day to be having a stuffy political discussion? Oh, it's her! <laughs> Alfin? Oh, have your lessons already finished for the day? I think it's the same girl that was hanging around with Reen's sister, isn't it? Indeed. They gave us the idea to prepare for the summer festival. But come on, Cedric. You need to stop taking everything so seriously. We're 15. It's far too early for us to be worrying about politics. Actually, I'm not sure 15 is too early, to be honest. What you should be concerned about is being more of a man at official parties. Blushing head to toe just from a lady asking you to dance? Shameful. Totally shameful. <laughs> Why do you have to bring that up again? <laughs> you know, that did wonders for his popularity. The ladies at that party were swooning left and right. He was playing their maternal instincts like a harp. Well, I can't deny that. Even some of the men there were fawning over him, saying Cedric was more of a youthful flower than me. Shh, 
Surely you're kidding, right? <laughs> that reminds me, Alfin. Have you decided on your dance partner for the upcoming garden party? Yeah. You've always avoided dancing at official functions. <laughs> Curious, are we? Well, I do have someone in mind this time. Although whether I can get him to say yes... R really? My, my. It sounds like you aren't just blowing smoke. Is it gonna be Reen? Imperial Chronicle is going to have a field day when they find out. Y you're really going to dance with someone? C could it be a son from one of the four great houses? <laughs> That's for me to know and you to discover. He is a noble, though. I'll give you that much. Oh, that reminds me. Prince Oliver? I have a proposal I'd like to discuss with you. Hmm. Guess we'll have to wait and see then. Ah, uh, back at Falls once again. Another successful mission. Reen's sister, isn't it? I think. Yeah, I believe so. I should open that letter from Reen that came in this morning. <sighs> I'm almost afraid to think how her highness would have reacted if she found this. Dear Miss Schwarzer. <laughs> really, Reen? Still Miss Schwarzer? Your own sister. What? Reen, why? Mid-July. Summer had come to Trista, and that meant it was time for us students to dust off our short-sleeved shirts. Yeah. <laughs> time to show some more skin, ladies! of experience under our belts, we finally found ourselves adjusting to the rigors of our coursework. And it was during those early days of summer, before the heat became well and truly withering, that we saw the start of a uniquely seasonal new lesson. Alright, that should be enough of a warm-up. Swimming! Naked! Oh my god, Emma's ass then! It looked tight! I'm supposed to remind you that swimming classes here are meant to teach you skills relevant to military service. Sarah is in a swimsuit. Uh, uh, uh. You know, how not to drown if you wind up in the water, how to save others from drowning, CPR, that kind of stuff. In fact, CPR is a pretty vital skill on any battlefield. Reen, Elisa, would you care to give us a demonstration? <laughs> oh, instructor! Come on, guys, just kidding around. Poor Elliot doesn't really seem to have a toned chest. I'd say out of all the guys, uh, Reen's definitely got the nicest body. Go on out of the ladies here. 
who's got the sexiest body and out of the men here who's got the sexiest body in my opinion for guys it's Reen for girls it's Sarah and Emma I actually think I like those big hips on Emma point is it's still important that you learn how to do it and, and her ass is nice <laughs> use it if the need arises whether that means locking lips with someone of the same sex or the opposite uh... of course <laughs> well it is a skill we can use to save someone's life after we've covered that i'll be timing how long it takes each of you to swim the length of the pool Ooh, Eustace has got a nice body as well. And Gaius. Will you give me a hand, Laura? As you wish. Oh my god. That ass shot, though. Well, I would suck at this since I can't swim. <laughs> it's her body. <laughs> Such a guy thing to say. I'm not staring, my eyes are just pointed in that general direction. Your boobs just happen to be there, okay? <laughs> Yeah, poor Elliot. Look at him next to Reen. I don't think I want to imagine Elliot all buff and ripped. I kind of do. Someone draw it. <laughs> Make Elliot a beefcake. That's not faint. That's quite apparent, that skull. <laughs> oh my god, Emma's boobs are huge. I think I have to actually do a swimming mini game in a second. If I fail, I don't know if I can still get the AP actually, but I've got to come first. Interesting. Oh, 
Oh, I have to go against Sarah. Okay, tell me how to do it. Is it not going to tell me? Is it just tap A or something? X, sorry, not A. Oh, want a PS bloody uh, free controller. Press triangle or circle when the two circles overlap. Right, okay. Doing this repeatedly will increase your speed. Oh, I didn't win. I didn't think I was going to win that. I'm not very good at river me kind of mini games. I got second though. Finally I did it. I'm not going to lie. It took me a few times doing it. A few attempts, but finally. Haha, -ha, Sarah. Here we go, the moment we've been waiting for. Laura versus B. Maybe this is a test from Laura to see if Fee's holding back. Try and bring out a competitive side. Fee, how about giving it all you've got this time? Huh? L Laura? What if I already did? I don't think so. I could tell just by watching you. Don't make light of me. Your earlier time was certainly not the best you're capable of. <laughs> well, it's hmm. not very polite to your opponent to hold back. <sighs> this isn't like the battlefields you grew up fighting on. It's a place you can grow and better yourself by challenging others. Deep down, I know you realize that. <sighs> hmm. Good. Then let us begin. Oh, who do we think's gonna win? Maybe it will be Fee. Mm. Looking at them like this, it's obvious how different their builds are. If build were all that mattered, we would have turned in faster times than either of them. I imagine the difference lies in their control of their bodies. Ready? Go! What? I incredible! Was that a tie? I think it was. Whoa! Which of them was first? It was too close to call. No, there was a tiny difference. Laura came out ahead on this one. Ah, oh, really? I couldn't tell. Oh, I wish I could have joined in. <laughs> well done. 
The same to you. You can do this when you want to, and yet, you consistently hold back. Why? <laughs> Nothing gets past Laura. Know. Too much effort, I guess. It seems we truly cannot find a middle ground. Maybe this chapter is going to be um, resolving issues between Laura and Fee. <laughs> Just like her. Practical exam. I bet yeah, our um, field study will actually be partly to go to this festival. Maybe that's what the favour's for. To tie in with our field study, make us go there. So we have to, uh, so obviously, what's her name? That, that girl can ask Reen to the dance. <laughs> <laughs> At least they all agree on that. I wouldn't say they were arguing. Here we go. Reen to the rescue again. Buddies, <laughs> you must be sniffing roses in the Garden of Delusions if you think I'm I'm a friend of his.
You can change costumes by selecting the costume you want to wear in the costume section of the camp menu's equip tab. If no costume has been selected, the character's outfit will change automatically over the course of the story. However, certain scenes will feature characters wearing specific outfits rather than the costume you've selected. I'll just leave it as this then. Since it's summer now, I quite like it actually. Okay guys, well I'm going to go ahead and stop this episode here, so don't forget to like, comment, favourite, share, and of course subscribe if you haven't done so already, all those things really do help me out as a YouTuber. As always, thank you for watching, and take it easy guys.